So now that we've gotten a introduction to HTML, I want you to put everything you've learned together in order to create a new project. So the project that we're going to be building today is called the favorite movie project. It's going to be a website to keep track of all of your favorite movies that you've watched. When you go to rogerebert.com, he is one of the greatest film critics of all time, in fact. He's passed away now, but he's got movie reviews and ratings for all the movies that he's watched. And you can see that when you go to his website. I think this is a really great way of keeping track of what you've watched because when friends ask me for recommendations, I can never remember what it is that I've watched in this year that I really like um, and what to recommend. So what we're going to be building today is a very simple website. It's going to be a website that tracks your favorite movies, maybe of all time, maybe of the last year, whatever you want to do. And the requirement is you should have at least three movies that you put in here. So what you're going to need is to create a H1 as the title of the website. And then you're going to have an H2 as the subtitle. And then you're going to have a horizontal rule as your void element in there. And then you're going to have three movies that you're going to list. And they're all going to be created using the H3 element. And then finally, you should have a section which is going to be a paragraph um, element that's going to describe why you liked those movies. And this is basically a very simple format for this website. Now, feel free once you've done all of this to continue to mod this website, to change it up, to add things, to add break elements, whatever it is you want to do. But at the minimum, I want to see all of these elements represented on a page. And of course, feel free to add your own movies. And I would love to see in the Q&A a picture of your website to see what it is that are your top movies. And maybe I'll get some inspiration to the next time when I have movie night and I can't figure out what to watch. So I'm curious to see your recommendations as well. So go ahead and download the movie ranking project zip file from this lesson's course resources. If you don't know how to do that, again, go back to one of the first videos in the course at the very beginning of section one, where I showed you in a video how to download course resources. And once you've unzipped it and extracted it, then open it up in VS Code and go ahead and code to your heart's content using everything you've learned. Pause the video now and give that a go. Now let's go through the solution. In my case, I'm going to have an H1 at the top, which is going to be the title. So um, top movies of all time, according to Angela. And then afterwards, I'm going to create a subtitle, which I will write my best three movies. And then after that, we were going to add a horizontal rule to separate this part from the actual content of our website. And I'm going to create an H3 to represent each of the movies I'm going to recommend. So I'm going to recommend uh, Spirited Away, which is one of my favorite animes. And I'm going to use a paragraph tag to describe a little bit about why I like it. So I'm just going to call it favorite anime. And then the next movie will be Ex Machina. And I really liked it because it's um, a really cool sci-fi movie. And then finally, the third one is going to be um, the movie Drive with Ryan Gosling because it was um, really beautifully shot. Cool. This is the basics of what you would need to have done for this project. It has all of the elements that were required and you can see in the goal PNG that it's got all the things that we've described, even if the text is a little bit different. Of course, it won't be according to Angela for you, it'll be according to your name. And 
Now that you've done that, feel free to add different things in here as you would want. Maybe add a bit more to the paragraph tags. Maybe add a poem about your favorite movie. Go crazy, try out things and share in the Q&A your project as a screenshot. If you don't know how to do a screenshot, be sure to be sure to type that into Google. How do I create a screenshot? And then you can add it into the Q&A. We can all look at your favorite movies and be inspired. So I hope you enjoyed building the project together. And in the next section, we're going to dive a little bit deeper into some more intermediate aspects of HTML. So for all of that and more, I'll see you there.